Hey guys, welcome to the April 21st edition of Fraud Examination. This week we'll be looking at chapter 11, which uh, covers financial statement fraud and management fraud. Um, and it got kind of an interesting discussion board uh, forum for this week. It involves identifying the role that auditors play in identifying in identifying financial statement fraud. Um, so I look forward to your discussion, your insights. Um, this discussion question can be found on, in module four, the la uh, one of the last links that says attendance for April 20th to April 26th. You'll have to give your initial post um, discussing the question by 11.59 on Thursday, the 23rd of April, and then respond to two people um, by Sunday at 11.59 um, to get your credit for attendance for Thursday, April 23rd's class. Uh, as always, uh, email me, show, tell me that you've seen this video, and you will get credit for Tuesday, April 21st classroom attendance. So we're looking at chapter 11 and I told you about the discussion board question. Oh, one other thing I want to uh, let you know, there is a review question, classroom activities uh, assignment due on the 23rd by 11.59 as well. And that has to do with the perfect storm. Now the perfect storm is discussed in chapter 11 of your text. Uh, and it's interesting, that talks about management fraud also, and the things that lead up to financial statement fraud and management fraud. Uh, that's worth 25 points. It's due uh, on the 23rd by 11.59, uh, so please submit those as well. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, either through email, text, or, or, or phone. I'll be more than happy to assist you in any way I can. Uh, let me give you a little uh, introductory information to the chapter 11 material. So I'm gonna share the screen. And chapter 11 is under the broad category of financial statement fraud. And the learning objectives after studying this chapter, you should be able to discuss the role that financial statements play in capital markets, understand the nature of financial statement fraud, become familiar with financial statement fraud statistics, see how financial statement frauds occur and are concealed, outline the framework for detecting financial statement fraud, identify financial statement fraud exposures, and explain how information regarding a company's management and directors, nature of organization, operating characteristics, relationships with others, and financial results can help assess the likelihood of financial statement fraud. Wow, a lot of information. It's all stuff that you'll need to know should you become um, a fraud examiner uh, for your career. Uh, problems of financial statement fraud. Financial statements are sometimes prepared in ways that intentionally misstate the financial position and performance of an organization. Uh, such misstatements can result from manipulating, falsifying, or altering accounting records. Uh, misleading financial statements cause serious problems in the market and in the economy. They often result in large losses for investors, you and I. Uh, you and me, lack of trust in the market, litigation and embarrassment for individuals and organizations associated with financial statement fraud. Here's the deal. You know, these financial statements are supposed to accurately and very transparently tell the public how the company's doing. And so you can see what the issue would be if these financial statements are intentionally misstating the financial position of the company. Um, financial statement fraud in recent years, misstated financial statements or cooking the books, inflating profits, decreasing uh, the recognitions of expenses, inappropriate loans to executives and executives taking money out of the company, insider trading scandals, and we've talked a little bit about that in class. 
uh, only offering really good initial public offerings to um, people you like uh, and not to the general public, maybe excessive CEO retirement perks. There's a lot of things that go against the ultimate goal of a publicly traded company, which is to maximize shareholder wealth. So a lot of great, interesting, timely and relevant information in chapter 11. So I look forward to um, reading your insights and comments on both the discussion board and in the uh, review questions classroom activities uh, section uh, for this week. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I um, want to give you a heads up on. I think, I think we're good for this week. Um, that's what's due. If you have any questions, again, reach out. I'll be more than happy to help you. Um, and uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and I look forward to seeing you on the discussion boards. Take care, guys.